What's going on you guys? This is a MexKDR, another Dell Optiplex 7050, the mini tower. Gonna be upgrades for gaming. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press on this latch right here with your finger and you slide to the left. You're gonna remove the front cover basil first. So you're gonna take the fingers like this gently, lift up the tabs like this, and the front cover basil will slide off. So I'm gonna slide this like this. What I will do is you're gonna press on this right here to remove the hard drive caddy. Plastic. It will look like this. So it slides in like that. Then you're gonna press on this like that and press on it and you'll slide to the right. This is for the three and a half inch. Gonna be upgrading the hard drive, two terabytes. I'll be using. And actually this is toolless. So you don't require no screws. Slide it back in. Now what we have to do is plug in the SATA cable. If it doesn't come with the cable, then you have to buy the SATA cable separately. They sell. You're gonna plug in the power. And make sure that the SATA cables does not touch the CPU cooler fan and you close it back in like this so it's all mounted right here back in because otherwise it's gonna be your fan is not gonna be spinning so make sure you get the SATA power cable make sure you plug them in and you tuck it back in here like this see right here a little clip you plus like that so the wire SATA cables do not touch the CPU fan so that's done now I want to show you guys be upgrading the Soul State Drive, this is M.2. I'm gonna zoom in the camera. I'm gonna remove it first. So it's actually two less arrow soul. So you're gonna take this like this, your finger. And gently, and it comes out like this, you see? And it just comes out. Guys, I'm gonna be using the, I have to zoom out the camera, Look, hold on. I'll be using the Samsung. This is the Samsung 970 Evo M.2. This is the the fast one I'm going to be using. So you can buy the using the same. This is the Envy. So what I'll do is I'm going to zoom in the camera again and install it. Now I'm going to zoom out the camera, installing the memory, it's using the DDR4 and I'm going to be upgrading guys to Kingston HyperX Furry, this is DDR4 2400, the match pair, total 16 gigs, that's 8 gig per each slot. So don't forget, you can install the first memory stick with the DIM1, the Y1, and the DIM2 will be the last one to write. The Y1, uh, that will be a dual channel. That's done. Now I'm going to be show you guys upgrading the video card for gaming. So I'll, either you guys can use a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and you have to be using the full high bracket. Or you could use the other one is actually really good. This is a GTX 750, and they look actually the same, and they're actually using the same bracket. But you have to change it to the full height bracket on the video card. Or you could use uh, GeForce GTX 1030, 
This is a low end video cord and does have both HDMI and DVI port. I also like the this other one is uh, EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. This is actually a really good video card. You can use that. This is a super clocked. It's actually faster than the GT 1030. And the GT 1030, guys, this is uh, 2 gigs. And this is uh, GDDR5. So don't forget, because they do sell a GT 1030 with a DDR4. So I like to go with the GDR, DDR5. And you have to get with the fan. So I'm gonna use in the still on the video card. We'll be using the GTX 1050 Ti. So I will do I'm gonna switch to the other side like this. There's a little tab, you press it up. And you have to remove the full uh, the full high bracket, PCI bracket it's gonna have on it, like this. So you have to remove. And we install the video card through PCI Express times 16 slot right here, the blue one, the top one. Okay, let's see, so I'm gonna go the other side. The video card is installed. Now you're gonna clip it back in like this. And the power supply guys in here is a 240 watt, so you should not, you don't need to upgrade. It will work perfectly fine with the GTX 1050 Ti. And the, uh, the CPU I have installed here is uh, Intel Core i7, uh, 7th Gen uh, 7700. I'll do separate video for the Tear down and a CPU upgrade. I'll upload a separate video. You guys can see. So you're gonna sludge it back like this. Install back the front cover basil. And the side cover panel. So I'm gonna show you guys the back, back side. So you guys are going to be installing, plugging your monitor directly to the video card, either HDMI or DVI port, and doing a clean install for the Soul State Drive, Windows 10, 64-bit. And you go to NVIDIA.com, you can get the latest drivers for this video card. See so you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.